Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Lane. Today we are doing a fantasy draft rebuild. Let's start the draft. We have pick number 12. Not bad. Joey Bose is gone. I want to pick somebody a little bit different from last time. I was hoping maybe Joey Bosa would be there. JJ Watt, I don't think so. I don't think we've ever taken Miles Garrett, so that is going to be the pick. Rank 7, pick number 12. Hopefully, he puts up tons and tons of great numbers. By the way, we are the Atlanta Falcons. Christian McCaffrey, 97 overall. Pretty good. Uh, we could go with a quarterback if we wanted to do that. I kind of want to go with Tyree Kill. He's young. He's a great player. He uh, beats up his kids. But we'll, you know, we'll, just, we'll just ignore that part of the thing, you know? Just, if you're a Chiefs fan, I'm sure you'll defend that and say I'm a bad person. The comments just get out of here. All right, what are we going to do with this pick? Probably should go with a quarterback. I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm going to go with Marshawn Lattimore. A lot of guys we've never taken before. I like doing this kind of stuff. I hate taking, like, uh, like with the Legends Fantasy Drafts. Oh, I do not want Brandon Brooks. Whoa, no way. But with the uh, Legends Fantasy Drafts, I feel like I pick a lot of the same players. So I don't really want to do that today. Do I go Kareem Hunt? I'm going to go Kareem Hunt. Ranked at 80, take it at number 117. So we have Miles Garrett. We have Marshawn Lattimore. Gonna have to get our quarterback eventually. We could just wait on that if we wanted to take quarterback in the draft. Hopefully they develop, come along pretty well. Now we take Zedaria Smith all the time. We're not doing that today. Dante Hightower is there. Demario Davis, Preston Smith, Jamie Collins. I'm gonna go. Yeah, Dante Hightower is like 30, right? 29, close enough. I'm thinking maybe Jalen Smith, but probably not right now. Kawan Alexander will be hopefully my left outside linebacker. D4, 26, 28, ooh. Thought he was a lot younger than that. Grady Jarrett's there. Let's get Grady Jarrett on the team, why not? Ranked 100, take it at number 140. Now, if you never watched one of these before we take a team, we treat it like a regular rebuild. We are gonna do about 21, 22 rounds. Uh, Jacoby Brissett's still there. We could go with that if we wanted to. Do we go Emmanuel Sanders? Ooh, Marquise Goodwin's there, maybe. May Ooh, Mike Williams, Corey Davis is down there. A lot of guys I want to add to this team, but I'm kind of got a little bit iffy. Oh, Jalen Smith is gone. Let's get Fred Warner on the team then. 22 years old. Seems pretty good. Now, uh, yeah, I, I really don't want to miss out on my quarterback, but at the same time, I feel like I, I can wait a little bit. Just a little bit. Because I'm going to take Kwan Alexander, star development, 25 years old, ranked 269, says we reached a big time on that one. Are we really at pick number eight? We are. Okay, I'm going to have to get my quarterback. Jacoby Brissett, long gone. Gardner Minshew's there. He probably has normal development, I would assume. Yes, he does. See, the thing is... If we take a quarterback, we don't worry about the offensive line. Then we're going to have to draft offensive line. Basically, this whole rebuild. I don't know if I want to be doing that. Just say it. How about how old's Havenstein? 27 years old? Add him to the team. Why not? Seems like a perfect player to fit our team. Oop, hit play. Oh, I was checking what time it was. Hit play on my podcast. Kirk Manahan Show. You guys should listen to a great, great show. Kind of hard to jump into. I'll give you that, but... Once you're in, you're going to be so deep, it's going to feel uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. Teddy Bridgewater, though you have star development, he does it, which is a little concerning. We could go Mitchell Trubisky, who seems to be a beast in this game for no reason whatsoever. Let's get Marpet on the team. 88 overall. A lot of people are saying, Lane, why do you take Joe Tooney over Ali Marpet? And I'm going to be honest. I thought Marpet was so much older than he is. Eh, I don't want to go with that. Matt Paradis is 29. Don't really want to do that. Ragno is there, though. At 23 years old, star development. I think that'll fit our team perfectly. Now, what do we have on defense? A lot of ones, so let's look at the safeties real quick. Eric Weddle, I don't really want to do that. Clint Dix, it's just... It's kind of a shame he's this far down. You know what I'm saying? 81 overall, star development. He's, like, so young feel like he's been in the league forever. Still don't have our quarterback. I almost want to do the unthinkable and go with Joe Flacco. I'm not going to do that, but maybe if it gets down to the nitty-gritty, maybe we will. 
How old is Xavier Woods? 24 years old? I, I can add that to my team. Why not? Now, what to do? What to do? We need a left tackle. Jason Peters is there. I think we'll take Jason Peters. Get us one old guy on the offensive line. You know, kind of be the mentor of the offensive line. I don't think that matters all too much in Madden, but, you know, I'll pretend. Yanda, no. Trey Turner, on the other hand, at 26 years old, I think that'll work out perfectly, perfectly fine. We're in round 15. We have basically everything we need. Ooh. We missed out on Mike Williams. Terry McLaren's there, though. That would be a bad idea. DJ Chark is there. I want to say Clark when I say DJ Chark, but... You know, I guess I'll say his name right. Just one time. Miles Garrett, by the way, he better put up a million sacks. First season. No exception. Except exceptions. Um, Dexter Lawrence. I feel like I do that every single time. Ogba has normal development. I don't really want to do that. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to take Dexter Lawrence. He's a hidden development guy. I know I do it all the time, but it's so hard to pass up on those. We need a right outside linebacker. Tavai is definitely a rookie, right? Maybe not. I thought he was. Jalen Ferguson's way down here. He's a pretty good linebacker. Mac Wilson's way down here. Add him to the team. Ranked 983. We took him at 524. I'll admit this one time. That might have been a little bit of a reach, but if I don't take him, I'm going to forget about him. He'll be long gone. Uh, let's go with Levi Wallace. Levy Wallace. I don't know which one it is. I believe it's Levi. I, I remember when I did the Bills rebuild, the first one for Madden 20. got ripped apart. I could never do anything right with the Bills rebuild. I will be doing the Bills rebuild, the first rebuild every single Madden. Every single one. Just hope for the best. See if we finally fix that team and take them to the promised land. Let's get Gary on Conley. 78 overall, not bad. What else are we missing? Nothing really on defense. Still don't have our quarterback. Kind of just forgot about that one. Eh. I'm going RG3. He's our guy. Year one, RG3, 66 overall. He's going to be our quarterback. And then let's take our tight end. Darren Waller's there. Huh. Add him to the team. Why not? Let's sim the rest of this. So here is what our offense looks like. We also got Michael Crabtree, Cordero Patterson for receivers. And on defense, it really depends on how well Miles Garrett does. Still have to work on the outside linebackers. Apparently, Warner, are they not? Okay. So Alexander's hurt. All right, I guess we'll be able to deal with that. Let's go to the playoffs. So I'm not sure if we made it. That down arrow typically means we missed the playoffs, but we made it at 10-5-1. We're going to play against the 10-6 Los Angeles Rams. The Saints won our division, though, at 11-5. Take a look at the stats. RG3, 4,000 yards, 33 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. We're bringing them back. Kareem on 1,300 yards, 10 touchdowns. Tyreek killed 972, seven touchdowns. Crabtree, 905 with six. McLaurin, 797, five touchdowns. Waller, 775, nine touchdowns. On defense, Fred Warner, 118 tackles. Sack totals, 11 for Lawrence Guy. Eight for Garrett, what's really going on there? Seven for Jarrett, five for Koara. I have no idea how to say that name. Now, I do wonder, will RG3 be up in the MVP race? I feel like he should be. He is a number 10. Wow, coach of the year, Mike Frabel. We are at number 10 with Dan Quinn. NFC Offensive Player of the Year, RG3 and 5. No other Falcons, Defensive Player of the Year. Nothing, Offensive Rookie. Crabtree, interesting, didn't know he was a rookie. McLaurin, number 4. Nobody else, Defensive Rookie of the Year. A lot of Panthers, a lot of Saints. We have Mac Wilson, though. Not bad, not bad. Now, I do have my XP sliders on, so we could be getting a ton of XP. Let's go find out what RG3 got. He got one. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. How does that even happen? I mean, Dexter Lawrence says four. Pretty good amount of the defensive, or the linebackers, rather. Still have to work on those cornerback positions, but let's upgrade the team. Find out if we can beat the 10-6 and six Los Angeles Rams. I think we'll be able to pretty easily. I mean, we have RG3. 
How easy it could it get? And we're all right. Oh, no. We beat him. Get all these veteran player messages out of here. We're actually in the conference championship. Can we beat the New Orleans, New Orleans Saints who are 11 and 5? No, we cannot. Well, they are playing against the Patriots, of course. Why wouldn't the Patriots be there? Let's see who won. The Saints beat the Patriots 35 to 27. Let's see how bad we got dominated in the conference championship, shall we? 31-17, that's pretty, you know, big margin right there. Wilson, 262 touchdowns. RG3, 179, nothing. Williams, 87, two touchdowns. Hunt with a touchdown. Beasley, 9 for 126, two touchdowns. McLaurin, 80 yards. Hunt, 54, nothing else too exciting. Now, let's take a peek at the Super Bowl. Who's going to be the quarterback for the Patriots? Sam Darnold. Wow. Montgomery with a touchdown, Wilson with a touchdown, a lot of rushing touchdowns by the Saints. What's going on? Richardson, 75 yards, Valdez Scantling, 68 with a touchdown, Noah Fant with a touchdown, Beasley with a touchdown, Hamilton with a touchdown. With the 29th pick in the first round, we're taking defensive tackle Jesse Ott. He's a 69 overall, Noma development, 90 strength, 73 block shed, 77 power moves, 60 finesse. In the second round, we're taking a receiver, Damian Ray, looks pretty good. 68 overall, normal development, 91 speed, 86 acceleration, 76 catching, 81 catch and trap. This is going to be very interesting in year two, still with RG3, who's a 67 overall. He's probably 30 now. He is 30. That should be very interesting. We still have Jason Peters, still got some good receivers, still have Darren Waller. And on defense, we have Kawan Alexander back. So let's see what we can get done this year because our team did get better, technically. Sometimes nothing about this game makes sense. We missed the playoffs, I assume because of RG3. We went 7-9, tied with the Panthers. Saints 13-3. Take a look at the stats. RG3, 3,700 yards, 26 touchdowns, 17 interceptions. Not all that great, I'll be honest. Kareem Hunt, 1,200 yards, 6 touchdowns, 4 for Griffin, 5 for Snell. Receiving Tyreek Hill, 1,000 yards, 7 touchdowns. Terry McLaren, 725, 6 touchdowns. Waller, 719 with 5. Patterson with 4. On defense, Fred Warner, 114 tackles, 106 for Alexander. Sack totals, 8.5 for Alexander, only 7 for Garrett, 5 for Jarrett. Interceptions, maybe my scheme's messed up. 3 for Alexander, 2 for Clinton Dix, Fred Warner, Conley, 1 for Levi Wallace. Nope, I want to go look at the awards, even though we're not going to have anything up there. I mean, if RG3's up here again, then I'm going to be very confused. Watson, MVP. And Brissett's up there, Andrew Luck's up there, who's still in the game. Coach of the year, Sean Payton. RG3, are you here? Nope. Defensive player of the year. We have Kawan Alexander winning it. That kind of came out of nowhere. Fred Warner at number 10. We have Quinn at number 6. We have Ray at number 10. Defensive rookie of the year. We have absolutely nothing. Love to see it. Let's take a peek at the XP. I mean, 85 overall team is not bad right now. Griffin has one. I mean, eh, not bad. Where is Ray? He has four. That'll bring him up to a 72 overall. And on defense, we drafted a defensive tackle. Audio is 372 overall. That's still not all that great. Isn't this the right scheme? It is a scheme fit. So what are, like, what are you doing? He's kind of just hanging out. You know, no big deal. The Chiefs beat the Cardinals 42 to 21. And Deshaun Watson is the quarterback for the Chiefs, right? He is. 189, two touchdowns. Was that their kicker? No, that's their backup quarterback with a touchdown. Okay. Winston in there for some reason. Ingram, 93 yards, two touchdowns. Gallup, 89 with a touchdown. Boyd with a touchdown. Touchdown for Jalen Hurd. I hate to do it, but we're going to take another defensive tackle. Deshaun Hoover looks really good. 74 overall, hidden development. 85 strength, 78 block shed, 71 power moves, 83 finesse. In the second round, I took middle linebacker Weathers, who's a 64 overall. In the third, right guard Lacey, 63 overall. In the fourth, I took strong safety Dixon, 67 overall with hidden development, which is pretty good. 88 speed, 68 zone, 63 tackles, 73 pursuit. We are sticking with RG3. We have an 85 overall team. Jason Peters is gone, so our rookie Lacey is starting. But the offense is still looking the same as usual. Really depends on how RG3 does. And on defense, Fred Warner up the superstar development. Def I mean, the defensive line's looking awesome. Corners are looking good. Safeties. 
I, I, we should make it. This is unbelievable. How don't we make it again? We went six and 10 worse than the division. RG3, 3,800 yards, 26 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. Kareem on 991, 10 touchdowns. Hill over 1,000 yards, 7 touchdowns. Terry McLaurin, 747 with 3. Patterson, 746, 7 touchdowns. Waller with 5. I probably should have picked great receivers and then RG3 now looking back. But I thought maybe my defense would carry him. I don't know. Alexander, 113. Warner, 105. Sack totals, 14 for Garrett. It's about time. 5.5 for Alexander. Interceptions, 5 for Clinton Dix. 2 for Woods. 2 for Conley. Yearly Awards. Andrew Luck, of course, with the MVP, still kicking. No Falcons. Coach of the Year, we would not be there. Offensive Player of the Year, nothing. Defensive Player of the Year, nothing yet again. Offensive Rookie of the Year. It's my lucky day. There's nobody in defensive. Oh, we're on the AFC. What am I doing? What am I doing? Offensive, maybe there's somebody here now. Nope. What about he? Hey, Miles Garrett, number four. That's good to see. Kawan Alexander, number 10. Now, offensive rookie. We got to have somebody. Nope. Defensive. I mean, yeah. Hoover, number one. Dixon, number three. He was our backup. Owens, number 10, which is good. That's kind of random coming out of nowhere. I do have to spend our coach's XP. I like to spend it on the quarterback if I can, especially when you have RG3 who's up to a 67. Give him some credit, but nothing really on offense. What about on defense? Hoover with five. That's a 79 overall. Dixon, whoo, superstar development. I love it. I absolutely love it. We have one final year left. I'm going to have to go find out who won that Super Bowl and re-sign all our guys. The Texans beat the Saints 28-21. to Who are their quarterbacks? Andrew Luck, that's right, 250, two touchdowns. Wilson's back with two touchdowns. Rushing Gordon, 76 with a touchdown. Williams, 58 with a touchdown. Fisher with a touchdown, whoever that is. Thielen, 113 with two. Engram with a touchdown. Valdez Scandling with a touchdown. And that's going to be it. Let's go re-sign all our guys and then go to the draft. The disrespect from RG3. He just turned us down for a seven-year deal worth $20 million. Well, you're coming right on back. Where do you think you're going? I can't believe that. I'm at a loss for words almost. With the ninth pick in the first round, we're taking a receiver, Anthony McDonald. He's a se What? Normal development. 91 speed, 87 acceleration, 79 catching, 77 catch of traffic. I can't believe that. This might be one of my best drafts ever. I didn't get any hidden development, guys. But in the second round, I got left end Pruitt, 71 overall. In the third, right end Landry, 67 overall. In the fourth, left guard Presley, 71 overall. Fifth, cornerback McLean, 64 overall. And in the sixth round, right guard Lynn, 71 overall. We have one year left. Let's go take a peek at our team, see if we can make the playoffs. Now, they might have replied. I mean, RG3's back, but they might have got us somebody else as well, which they did not. Yeah, I mean, technically they did. Goodbye, Quinn. Get out of here. I can't risk you starting over RG3. Just, just can't happen. So 85 overall team. What else we got? 85 offense, 87 defense. We never got a left tackle. Never really got some great receivers for good old RG3. But on defense, Alexander up the superstar, which is awesome. Dixon's there, which I almost want to move him to, like, corner. But we don't really need him at corner. So it's like a sticky situation. Let's go to the playoffs. Yes, we made the playoffs at 9-7. and seven. We'll play against the 9-7 and seven 49ers. The Saints also went 9-7. and seven. All right. Panthers 7-9. The Bucks went 4-12. and 12. RG3, 3,800 yards, 30 touchdowns, 13 interceptions. And you wanted to leave. Three months, 1100 yards, five touchdowns. Snell with five. Griffin with eight. That's not bad. Hill, 961, six touchdowns. Terry McLaren, 848, 10 touchdowns. Waller, 808 with seven. Ray, 632 with four. On defense, Warner. Oh, I, I, I saw 20. I was like, what happened? 127 tackles, 101 for Alexander and Clinton Dix. Sack total, seven and a half for Garrett, five and a half for Lawrence, four and a half for Jarrett. Miles Garrett let me down. Three interceptions by Warner, two by Lattimore, a few ones to go around. Yee Leo Wards, what do we got? Mayfield with the MVP. Griffin. Oh, wait, Griffin's at number four. What is going on? Coach of the Air, Doug Marone. Hey, number seven. NFC Offensive Play of the Air, Griffin still at number four. No Kareem Hunt. Defensive Play of the Air, Fred Warner at number two. Offensive Rookie of the Year, we have Humphreys at five. Nothing else. Defensive Rookie of the Year. 
Pruitt at number three, which is pretty good. And that's going to be it. Now, can RG3 get enough XP to be a 70 overall? Probably not, because he was like a 64 now that I think about it, right? He was, but he's going to be up to a 66 with confidence. All right. Ray has one. McDonald with one. All right. A little disappointing right there. And on defense, Pruitt with four, which is good. Davis with one. Where's the other? Oh, Landry right there with one. Not bad. Eh, what about Dixon? He has three. Just sitting there as a backup. Just getting all kinds of XP. We're just leaving him there. All right, let's upgrade our team. We're probably going to be one and done against the San Francisco 49ers. And I kind of want to go at it a bit different this time. We're going to go right to the offseason. You know, why go week by week? Let's just see if we want it all by ourselves. Nope, it was the Dolphins versus the Seahawks. All right. Not really expecting that. Who are the quarterbacks of this team or these teams? Mahomes 228 with a... Really, three interceptions, no touchdowns by the two quarterbacks. Brita with a touchdown. Weber with a touchdown. Kittle, five for 59. Samuel, 55. Hughes, 50. That's just ugly. Very, very ugly. How far did we get? We're not there yet. Still not there. So we were one and done. 28 to 21. Wow. Whew. Marcus Mariota, two touchdowns. Carson with a touchdown. Snell with a touchdown. RG3, of course. Cooper 77, Hill 76, Waller 67. But that is going to be it for this video. Let me know if you wanted me to do other fantasy draft rebuilds or maybe just like a regular rebuild with like random, old, like an RG3 type, like a, a backup quarterback that should have been a good quarterback. And I'm not trying, I can't really think of anybody off the top of my head, but dope, controller die, perfect timing. Can't really think of anybody off the top of my head, but definitely let me know down in the comments below. Hit that like button, the subscribe button, that bell. Come on back for more, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.